Hey everybody, I'm back here for my second Facebook Live. Um, <clears throat> we are at um, 64 Rose Place in Clarendon Hills, which is a new construction. And I'm here to answer any questions you might have about this home or show you aspects of the home if you, if you uh, um, have anything in particular that you want to see about it. Um, so let's see here. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out here, um, just to get started, I'm, I'm gonna be live here uh, in the next couple right, so seconds. Just to figure out here, so just um, get, please be patient and I'll be back. Just to get started, I'm, I'm gonna be live here uh, in the next couple right, so seconds. Just to figure out here, so just get, um, please be patient and I'll be back. I'm not sure if you uh, can hear me. I hopefully you can, but uh, there's a little comment area, and you can feel free to add, uh, send me any comments here. But I am sitting in the home at uh, 64 Rose Place, and um, you can see there's this is a brand new construction, and it's just got just tremendous nice finisher finishes. Excuse me. Um, Marble leather, or marble, leathered marble countertops, uh, high-end materials throughout this home. So the point of this uh, Facebook Live is uh, to provide an opportunity for people to um, ask questions about the home, and uh, and I can answer them in real time. I was gonna try to. Give me one second, I'm trying to get hooked up here properly. It's gonna be a little bit trickier. Okay, so anyways, let me just turn it back to, to being on me. So today, uh, this is my second virtual open house. Uh, my first one was at 115 Woodstock Avenue. I had some great participation. And so now I'm here at 64 Rose Place. And so I'm gonna um, be, you know, providing an opportunity for anybody who's watching to ask any questions about this new build. But um, we're listed at 949,000 here. And for a new construction, that's really hard to beat. Um, so let's, uh, let's begin our tour. Uh, here's the front door. And uh, I was told there might be a showing in the middle of my, broker, of, of my Facebook Live. So that may still happen. But there's a beautiful study here to the right of the front door when you walk in. Again, here's the front door. And you've got nice nine-foot ceilings here. Um, to the left of the front door is 
two coat closets, one, two, and the beautiful master, first floor master bedroom. And um, you can see there's a nice closet. It's been outfitted with state-of-the-art closet systems. And then this beautiful um, high-end bathroom that has double vanity, a tub, a shower, and a commode back here. So all of the um, things that people would expect to find in a brand new construction, you can find here at 64 Rose Avenue, Rose Place, excuse me, except under a million dollars. Um, upstairs, so up these stairs, there's a nice loft area. And again, if you're watching me right now, feel free to send a uh, post a comment um, and I can, I'll try to answer all the questions that I can see. So um, you can see up here, there's a loft area and I'm standing in it right now. Uh, and there is this bath, this bedroom here. This is a, a second laundry area. You'll see, I'll show you the first floor laundry in a second. Um, that could be a closet as well. This is uh, a guest room with a private ensuite bathroom and a nice closet. The rooms are all generous in size. And then on the other side of the upstairs, there is uh, a jack, two bedrooms and a Jack, jack and Jill. That's what happens when you're walking and talking. I just <laughs> impaled myself. Ah, uh, this is fun. Um, so during this time of coronavirus, we're just trying to provide opportunities for people to get some initial showings online. Um, so this is an on, this is essentially a virtual open house. Um, and then we can accommodate showings because we are considered essential services. So this is the Jack and Jill. Uh, and here's the third be third bedroom upstairs. Um, and I'm sorry, this is, I'm trying my best to learn how to, to do the Facebook live showing of a home, but it, the, the, the video on the iPad pro here makes this room look really small. It's just that it's like zoomed in. I don't know how to unzoom it. So doing the best I can. Nice and airy, light and airy in here. Lots of natural light on this home. Uh, it is super windy outside today um, and quiet in this town in general just because of the everyone's kind of sheltering in place mostly. But um, this is the kitchen eating area slash family room and I'll just kind of zoom around and pan and give you all a, a good view of it. But the kitchen, this is uh, leather and marble. It's, hold on, there we go. Yeah, it's got that like text, it's got like a texture, um, just a different look than kind of a lot of the other um, uh, marbles that we've been seeing, or quartz, I should say, that we've been seeing in most new constructions. I have a showing that's about to start, so I'm gonna let them in. Hi, come on in. Hi, Ann. how are you? Good, just in the middle of my Facebook Live, Hi. sorry. Hi. I'll let you guys do your uh, showing. Thanks. If you wouldn't mind, um, you got gloves on, perfect. And then you guys go ahead and uh, enjoy the showing. I'm just gonna be walking around, okay? I'll try to stay out of your way. So we happen to have a showing here in the middle of our Facebook Live, but I didn't wanna reschedule this. So I'll try to stay out of their way. This home was built by uh, LM Custom Homes, um, local builder, super nice guy, great quality. Never heard anybody uh, have anything negative to say on the quality of the work. Um, he has a reputation to uphold in town and he intends on doing it. The, um, just gonna put the, the device down for one second. Deanna, this is a, uh, a brochure of a home park with like, all the detail. Okay. okay? Yeah. Um, and then the basement, you'll see, is unfinished, but it can be finished at the fire negotiation. And you'll okay. see a super tall ceiling height nice room for rec room, bedroom, bath. Bath is already plumb for a bathroom and everything. Okay. So that can be finished, it's just 
not done at the moment. And, and so, okay? Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'm back here. I'm going to try to stay out of the way of the showing that's happening right now. But um, I'm here at 64 rows, and uh, the this is in Clarendon Hills, which if you're not familiar with this town, about 8,500 people, quiet town. People live here because they want a nice spot where their kids are safe. And there's a lot of kids. I think this is probably the youngest inner western suburb um, that you could move to. And um, it's been great for my family. We've been here 17 years and have no plan on uh, leaving, um, even though my kids are starting to grow up. But I can see um, I've got several people that are watching right now, which is great. And I'm here to answer any questions about this home. Um, there is a comment area, and if I see your comments, I'm going to try to respond as best I can. So, let's see here. just trying to stay out of the way of the showing that's uh, going on right now as we speak already. So we are doing real estate. Uh, we're just doing it in a very protected manner. We're asking our buyers to you know, not touch anything. We're asking the agents to wear gloves. And so we're just doing the best we can to function in the environment we're in. The buyers that are out are serious buyers. And we're, you know, so there will be, there, there, there's no reason that people can't transact right now. Um, I had a question on my previous Facebook Live about um, the closing process. Is that changing or things being delayed? And I will say that I think that most closings are going to be remote closings and it's going to change a little bit how things have been because we're starting to realize that we can remote close. We don't need to, um, we don't need to close in person anymore. It's just not a requirement. So, um, I'm just going to show a different view here, um, of the uh, study here. Really nice light fixture. Um, big windows kind of facing out across the, you know, at the street. The, the master bedroom is on the first floor at this home and it's a great option for, for people that are looking for a little separation from their bedroom, from their kids' room. Um, being on the same floor as your kids is all fine and, and simple when your kids are little, but once they start to get a little older, it's kind of nice to have a little separation. I know that now because my kids are getting old. And if you've seen the wrinkles on my face before when I was speaking, you'll see I'm getting old. Um, again, here's a view of the kitchen. There is a patio here and it's a beautiful paver area. There's a, the yard is fenced in, um, the garage, there's the garage. It's actually very, it's detached, but it's very close to the home and, um, has great space in there. There's a, there's a nice spot for, um, the garbage here. There's a, here's a better view of the garage. You know, there's a nice spot for the garbages and bikes along with two cars. Uh, that, that, I'm sorry, this is the. The laundry room on the first floor, there is an option for the laundry to be on the second floor um, as well. And there's a mud room here and the powder room. So there's three and a half bathrooms and four bedrooms, but the basement is unfinished, but it can be finished as a part of uh, a negotiation. And the finishing of that basement could, could vary um, in scope. Uh, most people would probably finish it with another bedroom uh, the bathroom and then rec area as well as an unfinished storage, storage spot. But, uh, it, you know, someone could add a bar. So I think a basement could run you forty to $60,000 or higher, depending on what you want to do. Um, and the, uh, and that's something that can be negotiated as a part of a sale. Uh, I see somebody just commented that it's a great looking house. Demetra, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. 
Um, I'm trying to stay out of the way of a showing that happens to be going on at this moment um, with a, another wonderful realtor from this area. And uh, let me take you upstairs again and uh, give you a look at um, the second floor. There's a loft space here at the top of the stairs that can, is about, I don't know, 10 feet by 15. Um, the camera makes these rooms look small, but they are bigger than, than that. Um, here's the second laundry, or it could be a regular, or just a closet. Um, and then this bedroom here has its own bathroom and um, closet. And on the other side of the house, there up here, there's uh, two rooms that share a Jack and Jill bathroom. And uh, all of these closets have uh, systems in them. And here's the Jack and Jill. There's two sinks. And then there's a separate commode and bathtub area. Subway tile there. And, um, and here's the other bedroom, tall ceilings. One of the hallmarks of Clarendon. So up here, probably have, in the bedrooms, probably have 10 foot ceilings in the bedrooms. Um, maybe nine foot, I'm not sure exactly. And uh, so you can see there's four bedrooms in the finished portion of the home. And again, you can add a fifth one in the lower level. Um, if you want it, it's currently unfinished. Um, and that can be negotiated as a part of the deal. So I'm doing this Facebook Live because we're in the middle of coronavirus and trying to do our best. <laughs> So um, we have a showing going on. I'm trying to stay out of their way. This is the study. It could be a formal living room. There's a few different ways to use this space, but it has um, French doors, which is just really nice. I hope everybody watching is uh, enjoying this tour. I'm doing the best I can here. Stay out of the way of the buyers, but um, I don't know how you guys are all hanging in there with coronavirus, but we're doing the best we can with our kids. We have, it's been a challenge to keep everybody rolling in the same direction, but we're, we're doing pretty well. Does anybody have any questions? I'd be happy to answer any questions. I'm sitting at the bar here in the kitchen um, at the, uh, what do you call it? Um, at the island, excuse me. Just look at my phone, see if there's any other comments I could address. If anybody here this, um, who's watching has questions about Clarendon Hills, I can answer those two as well. Um, really is a great spot with regard to being close to downtown. You can get there by train. You can get to the airports easily. There's really no traffic in this town. It's very quiet. It's a wonderful spot to raise a family. Um, made a lot of great friends here. And so um, I noticed that less people watch when it's on me, but I can only walk around the house so much. So that's just part of the deal. I guess people don't want to see my face. I don't blame you. Um, this is a new venture, the whole virtual open house. So we're, we're trying our best to, to work. And I will tell you, it is exhausting to host in these extended um, one hour long um, Facebook lives. Um, I'm probably gonna only host it for like 45 minutes just cause it really is tiring. Um, so I'm here to answer any questions. I don't know if, uh, Anyone watching has, has anything they'd like to ask, but it sure would be nice to get to respond to something. Here's the rest of the kitchen. I'm gonna go real slow. I really don't have any way of knowing exactly who's watching, so it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to respond directly. I'm gonna 
put this down for a second. So I, uh, the taxes on a, on a new build like this um, are gonna be similar to the taxes on an existing home valued at the same price. Um, so for something worth 950,000, you're probably looking at about $19,000 worth of taxes. Um, and because our tax rate is about 2% of the, the, um, the assessed value of the home. The backyard is fenced in um, and is, uh, it's not a large yard, but it's, it can be landscaped super nicely so this is look at this is more of a a great you know a home for people that are looking for a more of a an appropriately sized yard not not someone looking for a half an acre but then again we're a new construction price at 949,000 and that's in line with uh, what people usually are looking for at that price um, let me know if you have any additional questions I'm gonna Say hello to the buyers that are currently here for their showing. Any questions for me? This is your first child? This is our third. Third? Yeah. Okay. They'll fit plenty of holes. They'll fit right in. It seems like my whole third one is pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, like three and a half, two, and then three. And okay. Two. What street do you want in, in, in your side of the street? We're on Scottswood. Scottswood, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that one is. I've gotten lost in Riverside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, before Google existed, right? Like, you yeah. literally, you, 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 I was like, I don't know where I am. Yeah. Um, now, the Google. Yeah. Well, just like Riverside. 
side of, or actually, you could try to call it side crossings, but you know, all these roads radiate towards downtown, just like Riverside. Mm -hmm. So there's, they were laid out, supposedly the town was laid out by Frederick Law and says sons. But the full realization of the build out wasn't fully finished. So this flat of town is laid out very much that way, and on the south side of the track, it's laid out that way. But the northwest side of town is more green. They just gave up on it. I got another line. They didn't finish the vision. So, but this section of town, like all these roads, Chestnut, Waver, they all radiate town, just like Longfellow and whatever other roads are in town mm -hmm. in Riverside. I don't know terribly much about Riverside, so yeah. it's not an area of my expertise. Um, what did I hear you say about uh, the Fairview Road building being um, pushed forward towards downtown? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you go to the downtown, you'll see it. I mean, our train station. We're not the most historic town here. So we're taking the exact opposite approach of what the Riverside would do. Yeah. And we're building a modern train station. So ours is going to be like a total train station. Oh, I mean, it's going to be like completely <laughs> different. You know, it's going to be like totally different. If we're, not, we're not doing like slate book on a red brick building. We're doing, yeah. doing steep, like stainless. It's just, we're, we're not a historic town. Like, yeah. this town was developed in the 30s and 40s, not in the 1800s. So we're we're leaning into what we have. Houses and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So so anyways, yeah. So the downtown is getting um, a streetscape project, new gates, and then a new train station. So there are three different projects that are all going on this summer. Mm -hmm. They're they're all just starting. They're supposed to be done. The, the the gates might be delayed because that involves Metro, Burlington Northern, and. Streetscape improvements in the train station, those are like totally going gangbusters. So. Yeah. Cool. What was the red light on the way up? It's a, this is a quiet town. Yeah. It's really quiet. It's like Riverside, like nobody would cut through Riverside, right? Like, go like, who, nobody does that, right? You need to go up 171 or 43, right? Mm -hmm. So Clarence is the same way. No one's cutting through this town. It's quiet. Yeah. Really quiet. Mm -hmm. I heard that even on this road right here where you have the fire catcher and it's not like a pandemic, it's quiet. Yes. Even yeah. pre pandemic, it was. This yeah. town is yeah. small, 8,500 people. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a third the size of Kingsdale, a quarter the size of, of yeah, down to 45,000. This is eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Every, this town, most of the town is across the town. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 How old are you? Yeah. So, so we were like worried about 
these, these guys, um, they, uh, this particular owner is flexible. If someone wanted to close tomorrow, they could close tomorrow. But, you know, for the right buyer, they're, they're willing to, you know, wait till, you know, June or July or whatever it is to, to close that matched up on top of the way for the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Um, Uh, sorry, I was finishing a showing that was actually occurring at that time. So now I'm back here on Facebook Live. Uh, I'm sitting down in this wonderful um, family room and just panning the panning it back over towards the kitchen. So this is like easy, open, layout living. If you're just joining me, I'm here at uh, 64 Rose Place, um, and uh, this is a brand new construction listed at 949000 and if you have any questions or any parts of the house you want me to show you, feel free to uh, go ahead and ask me to uh, show you that part of the home, but uh, we're looking at a four bedroom, three and a half bath house. It's uh, wonderfully appointed by a great local builder, Don Price from LM Custom Homes. Super guy, uh, has a reputation in town that's just unquestionable. And uh, it's just a, a great opportunity here to get a new build under a million bucks. We just had a showing and I had to finish that showing off. Um, yeah, we are still doing showings uh, these days in, uh, real estate because we're still considered an essential service. People need to buy and sell and get their their families, you know, um, into, into new homes and stuff. So uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys joining me here on this Facebook Live. We're gonna go for another um, five or 10 minutes here and then wrap it up. But uh, there you go. Feel free to ask any questions. There's a nice view of the family room. It's a fenced in yard. Um, Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to actually answer them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna pan through the house and show it to you, okay? I must say the uh, iPad Pro is a pretty sweet device. Um, I've never had one before and I'm borrowing uh, a family members for this, but I gotta tell you, it's a, it really is a, a huge upgrade with the built-in keyboard and everything, it's just awesome. This is the study here at 64 rows. Beautiful light fixtures throughout. Second floor has three bedrooms. One bedroom has its own bathroom and the other two share a jack and chip. There's also this loft area up here. Fire away with any questions, and I'd be happy to answer them. This bedroom features a nice fixture. The closet has got the system in it. So this is a, a real bonus. This room has its own private bathroom. And then 
On the other side of the home, the other two rooms share the Jack and Jill. And all the, all the rooms up here have nine to 10 foot ceilings. Um, this is also has the closet system in it. Double door on this one. And then access to the Jack and Jill. It has a tub with subway tile, separate commode kind of area. And then on this side is the uh, double vanity. And here we go. This room has two closet doors, two sets of closets. The iPad Pro does make it look like the room is small, but they're not. They're actually a great size. Um, I see that Shannon Morell really loves that bathroom, and I really can co-sign that. The bathrooms are beautiful, the finishes are awesome. This home is just a great find for those looking for a new build under a million dollars, which in District 181 portion of Clarendon Hills is very hard to do. Um, one area that I haven't shown much of during this tour is the kind of the, the part of the home that, you know, coming in from the garage, that's the mudroom door. There is a mudroom area, place to drop your keys and stuff like that. And then also two cubbies, great storage, and the first floor laundry with a sink, super well done. And then on this side is the uh, powder room. The basement is unfinished, but it does have tall ceiling heights and can be negotiated as a part of the deal to finish the basement. Um, I've hesitated to show it, but I think I'm going to go down there and, and uh, show you the tall ceiling heights and everything. Even though it's unfinished at the time, at this time, you'll note that, uh, from upstairs, you can't tell. Um, it's only once you get down here that you can see, you know, this wide open space down here that's finishable. Tall ceilings. So, well, I really appreciate everybody who's joined me during this tour of 64 Rose Place. Um, I'm gonna end this Facebook Live here now. Um, and uh, I really appreciate it. Please feel free to uh, send me any follow-up questions uh, to this Facebook page and I can help answer them. And I'm sure I'll be doing more Facebook Live virtual open houses in the future. So thank you very much and have a good day. If I only knew how to stop it. Ah, there we go.